Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to work on this canvas which has an oval shape uh, and I'm going to create a mixed media look for my canvas. I started by choosing a background from one of my scrapbook papers. This is by KN Company and it has leaves on it uh, because I thought I was going to make a concept with uh, some chipboards with leaves. Uh, and I cut it uh, with the shape of my canvas and I'm uh, now gessoing it so that uh, I push the design to the background. I wanted to show you today, uh, I started this canvas with a totally different idea and color scheme. Uh, but then uh, things did uh, go wrong and I changed it uh, totally after I take a break for a couple of days. So you will see for a while what uh, I was creating with uh, the idea in my mind with uh, vibrant colors of uh, oranges, yellows and greens. This is a 12 by 12 stencil by Crafters Workshop that has daisies on it. So it's uh, good to use with uh, big surfaces. And I'm using my crackle paste uh, from Dreamweavers. So eventually these daisies will have crackles on them which will be a nice texture to have. And you see I have a very nice uh, leaves from Dusty Attic. This is again a big a 12 by 12 design. I buy these uh, things to use on canvases uh, so that I have big uh, elements to give a uh, nice uh, texture and uh, elements uh, for my projects. I'm using my craft knife to detach uh, the chipboard from the surface and here it is really beautiful uh, very nice leaves and I'm cutting it uh, just to adjust to my uh, to the shape of my canvas. Here I'm still planning to do my green orange yellow canvas uh, with my leaves uh, and uh, I put it directly I don't need to stick it because the paste is still wet so it will stick uh, to the canvas directly with this wet paste and I will cut this one uh, more just to fit the remaining place you will find the list of supplies down below at the description area or in my blog as usual and here is my coloring for the canvas I used yellows and uh, oranges and also did some embossing, uh, green embossing to the leaves. However, when I uh, finished all this uh, color spraying, they, I was using sprays, uh, I really didn't like it. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't matter if it's really nice or not. Uh, if you don't like it, at least for me, uh, I can't continue. So I uh, stopped working on it. And the next day I looked at it and said, uh, I need to get rid of these colors. So I used my black gesso to completely color everything and uh, open a blank page, a black page, but it's a black page for me as well. So I took uh, other textures. These chip, uh, wooden shapes are from Stamperia. I have my mini doilies here uh, that I will use around these. Uh, I love these shapes uh, from Stamperia. They are very sturdy. And uh, I love the designs, they are very useful to work on some uh, frames and it gives some definition. And the one in the middle is also from Stamperia. And my beautiful girl is from Santoro, uh, gorgeous girl. Uh, it's an A4 paper pad. Uh, as you see, I'm trying to do my design as you watch me. And I have these uh, pebbles, glass pebbles from Prima. So I'm just uh, playing and seeing if I like the uh, organization that I am seeing. I think as a base I'm happy with this. And I'll just show you where I took my girl. This is the A4 paper pad and it's gorgeous because uh, it has glitter on it, some embossing. Um, and I would recommend you to check it out. You will see the link down below. Uh, I decided to stick some of my uh, elements and uh, I'm using decoupage glue to start with my doilies and the others will come. 
I wanted to show you this process because uh, sometimes we uh, design something and we really dislike it. So I think uh, painting it with black gesso or white gesso completely is a good way to escape from the color uh, or things that you created already and start from a totally blank uh, project. Uh, coloring it, uh, covering it with the black gesso allowed me to move to another color scheme that I might like. So we'll see how it turns out. Now uh, I'm also going to paint all this with black gesso uh, because when I build the colors uh, on top of each other I won't have the chance anymore uh, to give this uh, black gesso black color so I need to do it now. After drying it, now I can stick uh, the wooden shapes. And I'm going to stick another set of doilies. can uh, also uh, cover this with black gesso. Now I will give some more texture around my pebbles uh, with my famous stones uh, that I uh, brought from the beach from Italy. I use this time after time. I'm still resisting uh, not to buy uh, artificial stones but use my natural stones. So I put some matte medium uh, all around the place that I want my stones to stick and I'm using them, just dropping them on this matte medium so th they will stick. Now it's time to cover the stones as well with black gesso and uh, here is my base with all my textures that I covered with black gesso ready to give color actually. Now we came to the exciting part uh, to give color and see everything to come to life. I'm using my Prima uh, metallic uh, acrylic paints they are from Finebear the color I'm using is dark velvet, it's kind of a purple color uh, or blackberry color. Uh, it's amazing and it looks really shiny and uh, really nice on black. These uh, metallic uh, acrylic paints look really nice on dark colors. Uh, they really come to life so I think uh, I'm getting the sense that I will like these colors more than what I saw before. I will also give color to the to this wooden shape uh, to put my girl on it. Uh, I need to do the same process. I will color it with uh, I will cover it with black gesso and then use my purple color. And uh, now I will do a second uh, coat of uh, color. This is a uh, rose gold uh, uh, alchemy wax from again Prima Finebear collection. They are amazing, uh, I really like them, very creamy, uh, very easy to apply with your hand or uh, with a brush. Here I'm using a brush uh, to apply these kind of waxes 
and it really highlights all the texture that I have on this uh, canvas. Uh, you saw me doing layers and layers with stones and pebbles and many wooden shapes. Uh, with using this uh, different color, a lighter color, I will have the opportunity to uh, highlight what is on there and all these uh, details will come to life. And by the way, these waxes also smell amazing. Uh, it smells like perfume. So when the project is finished, I, I showed it to my husband and uh, he uh, got the smell and uh, he said it looks amazing and also it smells amazing. So another uh, nice thing about these waxes. I think it's enough for now. I highlighted the areas and the purple and this uh, rose gold looks amazing together. Now I will move to another uh, color. This is violet green, uh, opal magic. It's also acrylic paint but uh, it's very transparent uh, and it has a different effect. Uh, it has two colors in it and when you use it on a dark surface as you see it becomes uh, a really interesting color with uh, when you look from an angle it might be green when you look from another angle it might be uh, violet uh, so it's, it has a really nice effect I will show you now how it looks uh, trying to catch the light as you see I have uh, three colors there really shiny now it's time to use my flowers again these flowers are from Prima they are white uh, I like having uh, white flowers very useful because you can uh, give any color you want to them and in this case I'm going to uh, color them with the same purple dark velvet that I used for my uh, background on the canvas. Uh, I'm just trying to see the uh, again composition. These leaves uh, come with the flowers. And I have my sisal fibers. Uh, very useful. I love to use them. Uh, it gives uh, a very nice uh, texture uh, when you put it behind some elements uh, it makes them more interesting so since I decided on my composition it's time to stick them I will start with my sisal fibers and uh, then uh, I will stick my girl on top of them and I took the sentiment, someone special, uh, it's from the same uh, paper pad I showed you because this girl looks like someone special, definitely. So I'm sticking this uh, sentiment on top of my girl. Then I will uh, stick my flowers as I uh, like them to be on the side of my girl. You will see that I colored uh, already my flowers using a couple of leaves around them as well with the same uh, dark velvet color I used. And now I'm going to use again the, the rose gold uh, wax that I used to, just to highlight the details on my flowers. Also this brings everything together because uh, there are the same colors at the background. I'm going to use these flakes uh, from Finebear again. Uh, they have the same color, uh, rose gold color uh, as my wax. So I'm uh, taking again uh, some matte medium and uh, putting it around the places that I want the flakes to be. This will give another nice texture and interest uh, to the canvas. You can find these flakes uh, in big jars or the small jars like mine in a set of six with different colors. I found that quite useful because it's highly unlikely that uh, I will finish one little jar, uh, jar even. Uh, so I chose to have different colors uh, to use in different projects in little jars. Mm -hmm. 
finally I will do some splashes uh, with rose gold uh, acrylic paint, metallic acrylic paint. I'm putting some water and uh, watering it down and doing some splashes with a little brush so that there are no big blobs of uh, splashes on my project. This is just to tie things together as a last step. And the canvas is finished. I really like this one uh, and I hope you enjoyed the transformation from a totally different direction to this one uh, and all the textures and elements that I used. Thanks a lot for visiting and watching this video. Uh, I hope you liked it and if you did please don't forget to give me thumbs up or uh, leave comments or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You will find a list of supplies down below at the description area or in my blog as usual. Thanks for watching and see you next time.